A win this evening would see Woking go six points clear at the top of the table as they welcome Western Supermare to Kingfield. Gary Hill makes just one change from the side that beat Staines at the weekend. In comes Derek Duncan at left back. He replaces Alan Innes with Adam Doyle moving into central defence. The visitors sit eighth in the league but haven't won in the last three matches. One to watch for them is 23-year-old Nate Pepperell who has scored five goals so far this season. And here we go, this game's underway here at Kingfield. This fixture last season ended 4-3 in a thrilling match. Doyle on the ball. Half cleared by Jamie Price, but King will win the head and it could come to Elvis Hammond, who goes down under the challenge of Jamie Laird, but the referee's not interested. Looking with early shouts for a penalty here. Derek Duncan to whip in this corner. Picks out Doyle. Price for handball there. But once again, the referee is not having any of it. Jack King with the header. Dale Bins with the ball over the top. Poor clearance from Jack Martin and Paris Cowan Hall will try and get the header in, which he will. But Lloyd Irish will be there. Here's Hammond shielding the ball well. Ball deflects well for Dale Bins. And Paris Cowan Hall goes down there. Some hopeful appeals from the Woking faithful behind the goal. Cowan Hall's corner will come to Moses Animola. And that will be a corner, much to the annoyance of Western Supermare players. Good work from Animola. It's taken quickly. And in it comes Adam Doyle with the header. Good save from Irish. Well, Doyle's header won't be picked up by Ricketts and Nabi Diablo will make chase. And even though Newton got there first, he's a judge to have found the Western player and he's shown the yellow card. Ben Cleverwee with the free kick. Not no trouble how. Here's Newton with the ball forward. Looking for the run of Paris Cowan Hall, who's crossed. Looking for Elvis Hammond is deflected away. Ball from Hammond into Moses Ali Mola. We'll try and pick out the run of Jack King. But King couldn't quite get there. Jack King just unable to find a breakthrough at the moment. Mark well, Ricketts knocking the ball back to Alan Howe. He launches it towards Paris Cowan Hall. Cleverly with the header, but he's only managed to play that into the path of Moses Ali Mola. We will now try and take on Jamie Laird and go flying into the penalty area and he goes down under the challenge and the referee's given a penalty. After a couple of early peels, Woking do have a penalty on the verge of half-time. Andy Mola taken out in the area and Jack King will try and score his fourth league penalty of the season and he does so with a plomb. And Woking take the lead here just before half-time. taken penalty from King. Never looks like missing when he steps up from the penalty spot. Duncan with the corner just before half-time and Irish didn't get hold of that. Wellington with the ball. And there's an early substitute for Dale Binns who picked up a knock and Andy Muller will play the ball into Jay Davies. And he manages to slide that just wide of the far post. What an excellent chance here at the beginning of this second half. Here's Cowan Hall. Keeping the ball well. Finding Moses Ali Mola. And he Mola with the strike. And it deflects behind off Laird. Looking at the corner. Paris Cowan Hall will play it in. Doyle up there. Could come to Davies. His low drive goes behind. Duncan with the corner. Oh, and Doyle with the header. Woking not resting on their laurels and going after a second. Newton with the ball forward. Half clear, but Animola will play in Paris. Cowan Hall, what a chance this is for Cowan Hall. It's blocked by Irish. Cowan Hall still on the ball, though. Animola now backing him up. Moses Animola. Good block there. And that was Matt Villis. Half headed away. <laughs> Doing well. Here's Adi Mola. Proving a real terror for the Western Superman defence. And he forces Irish into a save at his near post. 
Certainly hit that. Kane Ingram with the ball forward, flicked over by Diablo, and Ingram with the acrobatic volley, which Howe will parry away. And he will to Newton. Picks out Elvis Hammond. Looks for Paris Cowan Hall, but Animola will latch onto it. Great work from Moses Animola into the penalty area. And his finish has a lot left to be desired. Didn't quite get the right connection. Half headed on. He'll come to Adi Muller, who turns neatly. And manages to wiggle his way past two and play a great ball into Elvis Hammond. And what a finish that is. And Woking have the second. Elvis Hammond with his sixth league goal of the season and his seventh overall. And it was a neat finish from Woking's veteran striker. After excellent work from Moses Ali Muller, what a through ball that is. That was inch perfect. And what an exquisite finish from Hammond. And after 73 minutes, it can look like they will go on to take all three points here. Oh, nice to know. Looking all around the back quite comfortably until that's a poor pass to Animola, who will latch onto it and drive into the penalty area. It's Moses Animola. Oh, and it slipped under Lloyd Irish. And Woking have a third. Animola's got his goal. He's deserved one. He remains Woking's top scorer on eight for the season. All in the league. And, well, Irish will may well feel he should have done better with that. But Animola won't care. They all count. And they're looking for Diablo, but that's intercepted by Davies, who gets it back off Soul, and it's Davies with the effort. But he can only hit the ball into the KRA. Mola looking for Giuseppe Sol, second half substitute. Come to Karangtang. And now Sol! And Woking have four. And what a finish that is from Giuseppe Sol. An excellent first touch. Set him up for a great finish. It's his fourth league goal of the season. After opening up with a brace against Sutton on the opening day. And he's fifth of the season. Woking look like they will cruise home now. That turn from Andy Mola. He's been superb today. And he drives in another shot to force Irish into another save. Good effort. Woking still kept the ball alive here. Here's Davies. Back to Newton. Cross into the area. I think Sobo got a flick. And then Giuseppe Sol just couldn't quite get the connection he wanted. Well, with a uncharacteristic, the poor header, and Rickett slips, and Cabba could be in here. Oh, when he goes down under the challenge of Howe, and the referee's given a penalty. Well, chance for a late consolation here. Ricketts is annoyed about something. Cabba manages to get the flick on it. And runs into Howe. Well, Nate Pepperell will calmly finish and pull one back for Western Supermare here in the last minute. Carrie Hill won't be pleased at letting a clean sheet go, but he must be delighted with his team overall for an excellent performance. They've run out 4-1 winners here at Kingfield, thanks to goals from Jack King, Elvis Hammond, Moses Animola and Giuseppe Sol.